Hi, my name is Ted. I'm one of the five people that live out here at the sanctuary. And I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 convocation. One of the reasons that this church is so special is that these three crosses together represent a monument to human spiritual rights. I just want to mention something about the church that you might find kind of unique. <clears throat> when this church was under construction in 1989, uh, before they filled this whole floor with concrete, the, uh, <clears throat> all, the, all the rebarb, everything was bare and exposed. Uh, a lot of members of the church, we have little outcroppings of this white quartz crystal. We have one in particular we call the Crystal Garden where there's, there's just all this white crystal all over the place. Uh, a lot of the members took big chunks of this white quartz crystal and they placed it all around down inside where the, uh, the rebar was before they poured this floor. And I thought that was kind of an interesting little thing, you know, with the, with the crystals embedded in the floor of this church. <clears throat> and every single person that's ever come on this sanctuary, the first thing they say is, what is this place? What is this place? I feel so different. 99% of the people that come out here say that. They didn't, you know, it's like they didn't know this place existed. And they all have a response. <clears throat> An example I'd like to share is when the construction first, the, the, the construction guys that were doing the project on this cathedral church when they first came out here, <clears throat> for about the first week, you know, they would show up in the morning, they would turn their radios on, you know, construction workers are kind of rowdy. <clears throat> So the music would be playing and they were doing their thing. And uh, you know, at lunchtime, I would come down here and I could, I could hear them talking and, uh, well, you know what construction workers talk about. I mean, it's like that kind of uh, rowdiness. <laughs> but after about a week, I would come down here and the radio wasn't playing anymore. <laughs> And when I, come to, when I came down here at lunch, instead of the guys being all together in a group chatting, some of the guys would be sitting over in, near the bell choir area. And then some of the guys were spread out and they would sit with their backs against these crosses. And they were quiet. <clears throat> and I thought, well, this is kind of unusual. So, <clears throat> After about a month, I came down here one day and I was just kind of like checking things out. And uh, the foreman uh, for the guys was down here. And he kind of took me aside and he was just sharing an experience that he had. He said, uh, he came out here uh, Saturday on his day off with his wife because he wanted to share with his wife the, uh, the peacefulness of this sanctuary. Uh, so obviously they felt the change. Uh, they enjoyed being out here and I think sometimes they kind of drug their feet because they wanted an excuse to be out here. They would do little things like uh, forget to bring their tools back so that they would have an excuse to come out here on the weekend to get their tools or something like that. <clears throat> now <clears throat> these guys aren't mystics or any, anything like that. They're not lo looking at the sun like you are. They're just normal, good people. And they experience something out here. So I just wanted to share that. <clears throat> One of the things that people here in Reno have noticed over the, over the years of coming out here doing these services every Sunday and it's usually, and like I said before, you know, each one of these churches has its own peculiar frequency. Uh, and we have three that we do for these services. And the one over the hill, I don't know if the camera guy can pick that up from here, but we have a lot of trees over there. And oftentimes, a lot of times, just before the service, these songbirds show up. 
and they like the high notes on the on the on the handbells. They're attracted to these high notes on the handbells. And a lot of times when the uh, person ringing the prompting bell for for the cues, when they ring that little prompting bell, the bird will respond to it. And it's not coincidence. I mean, it goes through the whole service. These little songbirds will sit there, and every time we strike the bell, the bird will respond. And a lot of times, <clears throat> just before sunrise, especially in the fall, <clears throat> there's, there can be anywhere from two to four ravens. And just before the sun comes up, these ravens appear out of the east, it seems like out of nowhere. And these ravens will fly up towards the church, and just before they get to the church, they start chatting. And they make these really strange noises. They have these, uh, ravens are extremely intelligent birds, and they're often known as a solar bird. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> nature responds to our services. We found that out. But those are just some of the things that people here in Reno have noticed. And it, and it, it happens so often that we just expect it. When we show up for the service, the songbirds show up. It is, it's almost like it's a given. But for, you, for those of you who have never had the, uh, the privilege of being out here, hopefully someday uh, we hope that you do get a chance to come out here and join us at one of the convocations uh, and experience these services in person. You know, I know that there's a lot of new people out there that, are, that have just joined our community and are just beginning to practice your, your solar eye techniques. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you're doing those techniques in the city, and every city has its own frequency, of course. So when you're doing your solar eye techniques, you're looking through the field of the city, and you're getting a different response from the sun as a result of that. And maybe by now you've experienced that, well, if you go out to the country or you get away from the city, the sun is different. And maybe you have experienced that. But I hope in the near future that you're able to come to one of our convocations and join us in our sunrise services so that you can experience the difference of the frequency of this sanctuary and how you're, uh, perhaps you'll see the sun a little bit different. It's so gold out here, the rays of the sun are so gold and the aura of the sun is so gold. Uh, you'll definitely notice the difference uh, and it's a beautiful experience. So I hope someday in the future you get a chance to come out here and experience that with us. So thank you. <clears throat>